Now, one of the biggest challenges for golfers all around the world is turning that fade and that slice into a draw. If you've been struggling with this, well, stay tuned. I've got a great tactic that you can use just simply implementing in your setup that could change your ball flight for good. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here in the studio at Joondalup Resort. Before we get stuck in, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you don't miss out on all the great content coming your way. Also, just a friendly reminder, I am available for online coaching, remote services from myself to you, helping you improve your game in a holistic fashion, working on your swing, your short game, your putting, whatever you like, I'm here to help simply through an app called Skillist. I'll post that link down below. All right, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to turn that slice or the fade into a draw, but not in the traditional way of changing your swing and how you're moving. I'm gonna show you a great tactic used by a lot of players in simply just adjusting their setup in one simple way to really change the way that that club can deliver back to the ball. But first of all, let's talk about some of the common errors that we see with players who slice the ball, and then we'll work towards the fix, which can really change the quality of that ball flying. So starting off, if I'm a slicer for a right-hander, I've got a black line set out in front of us, which we're gonna call our target line. We've got the orange line over here in this direction. We're gonna call that our slice line, and our green line over there, well, that's gonna be our draw line. And that's simply just gonna be a representation of the direction in which this club head is gonna travel through the ball. Generally, what we see with a player who slices the golf ball is the club would work from what we call a high to low fashion or a cross and out to in direction, moving across this orange line that I've got set down. That would simply look like this, all things being equal. My club's gonna move across the ball like this and we would get that ball starting and then curving back in a left to right direction. A very common error that we see with a lot of players and something that frustrates a lot of them to try and rectify. A draw would simply be the opposite. We would see the golf club travel from what would be a low to a high position, low to the ground, and then extending out. For me, that's gonna head out to the right, being a right-hander. Generally, what we see with those players as well is they can turn the face down. And what we see with that was that would just deliver the club more from the inside and then get that ball starting to curve right to left. So if you are a player who struggles with slices, generally what we see, we're not gonna to talk too much about the grip today, we're gonna to be talking more so about the direction of the swing relative to how we orientate our eye line. And this is a big key that we see with a lot of slices. Generally, because their grip might be in a weak position, they tend to get into this orientation here where their shoulders are open, their ball position is forward, but most importantly, their eye line is tilted too far to the left. And when my eye line is tilted too far to the left, it simply encourages me to swing across my line. So just using this golf club shaft as a reference, if my eye line is matching that black line, well, when I look at the target, essentially I'm tracing this line with my visual. And even as this golf club is coming down underneath me, I can get a clear picture of that golf club moving from an in to out direction. What we tend to see with slices of the golf ball is if the ball's too far forward or their grip's too weak, meaning their hands are turned too far to the left for the right-hander, well, we tend to see that their eye line at address is skewed or tilted too far to the left. So when I make my swing, my straight line relative to my eye line is actually out and across. And then we turn that into a shot and that'll start that ball left and curve to the right. So the opposite to that, if we wanna look at some of the players who tend to draw the golf ball, we would actually see them have their eye line tilted the other way, out to the right. So a slicer would have their eye line tilted to the left like this, in the address position, tilt the eye line to the left, we would see the club move out to in. The drawer of the golf ball, we could encourage that eye line to be tilted out to the right, and all things being equal, now my straight line is going to be coming more from the inside relative to our target line. So this is a great fix used by a lot of players to simply change where they feel like the golf club is swinging. If I set up to this ball here and I have my eye line tilted in that slicing fashion, it seems super exaggerated to get that golf club coming from an in to out direction. But if I set up to this golf ball, put my club here, tilt my eye line to the right, so I'm just feeling that my right ear gets closer to my right shoulder, now I feel like I've got plenty of room to swing this out to the right hand side. So let's see that applied. We're gonna set up to this one here 
instead of my eye line being over to the left, I'm gonna shift that over to the right. I'm gonna exaggerate it, simply getting my right ear closer to my right shoulder. I'm just gonna make a couple of smooth little swings, feeling that I'm following the direction of my eye line. You can actually just go ahead and practice this chuck an alignment stick down and simply just try and match your eye line with that alignment stick. It might feel quite weird the first couple of times you do it, but then simply when you turn that into a shot, you'll find it so much easier to get the sensation that the club's traveling out to the right of your intended target. So it's a great setup strategy, a great tactic to use if you're a player who struggles with slicing the golf ball because it has a big follow on effect with a lot of variables throughout your setup. So if I set up to this and I simply tilt my eye line to the right, now what happens is my shoulders close off, my hips slightly close off. And what we see with players who slice the ball, it's usually the opposite. The shoulders are open, the hips are open. They fire the hips too early into this position, the club moves across and that delivers that left to right ball flight. So by simply changing our eye line, we start to move and orientate our whole body out to the right. And then assuming you've got a relatively functional grip you can check those videos and some of the previous ones that I've done. Well then from there you make your normal swing and we can start to see that that ball is going to start out to the right and curve a little bit more to the left. So if you've been struggling to change your ball flight, you've been working on a lot of variables throughout your swing, but you've just been missing this one key element in your setup, I want you to make some adjustments to how you're addressing that ball. I want you to put that ball a little bit further back in your stance. I want you to get your eye line tilted more out to the right and then make some practice swings from there, getting comfortable with that feeling. Once you've done that a few times, then hit some shots, start on a small tee, start off slow and then build up your speed and you'll be so surprised how much that can actually change the direction of your swing just from doing so. As with always, have some feedback, let's film it, let's chuck it on camera, have a look in the mirror so you can see the change of direction and that'll start to build some confidence. Make sure you set up a bit of a practice station such as we have here, just so you can make sure that you get some sort of reference for how you're progressing. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions at all, please ask me below. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray, thanks for watching.